Hi, I'm Cole Druitt and I'm going to explain to you uh, how to pot up Pleione orchids. Now Pleione orchids are a very rare and unusual plant that uh, grows on the Himalayas um, from between 500 metres to uh, something like uh, three or four thousand metres. Um, so they're an incredibly uh, beautiful little plant. Now to to pot them, uh, we've got to replicate uh, nature a bit here. Uh, they do grow on logs covered in moss in their natural state uh, in the main. Some of them grow on moss on rocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to pot them. Uh, now first of all, we start off with a pot. Now when you buy a pot, you're going to find that the, the holes are too small. And so you need to drill them out a bit and uh, put in a couple of extras, you can see them there. Uh, as well as that, we're going to use uh, a base um, of scoria, which uh, we we'll put in the bottom of the pot, just to give uh, extra drainage in case the holes block up. Now it's a good thing uh, to elevate the pot, uh, lift it up off the ground, so that the pot drains properly. If you leave the, the pot sitting on a concrete surface, it's inclined to retain water in the last third of the pot. And uh, this is part of the reason why we put the scoria in, in case you can't do it any other way and you need to put it on a, a flat surface, but better not to. So a layer of scoria, then we, we use a potting mix. Now, this potting mix is, is, uh, is approximately uh, four parts of fine pine bark, which is hammer milled, uh, and it also contains one part of coarse gravel. Uh, also added to that, in a, in a container like this, you would have um, a small handful of dolomite and that would all be mixed together. So there, there's no nutrients in this at this stage. So what we do is we add half the pot with the potting mix. On top of that, we're going to add some nutrients. And what I recommend is dynamic lifter. This is an organic dynamic lifter. It doesn't have any added fertilizer in it. All we need is a small, small handful. We'll add that to the, the top of the mix that we've put in the pot. And I just work that into the surface of the mix in the pot. Then, to that, we fill the pot up to the top with uh, more mix. Just tap it down a bit. Don't ever compress it. And then we're going to plant the bulbs. Now these are the Pleione bulbs. Uh, these, these are rearing to go. They've got their growth buds. Uh, these are, are flower buds that are forming. The bulb is a suedo bulb, which means that what happens to that bulb it, throughout the course of the year, it shrinks away to nothing. And at the base of each of these growths that contain the flowers and the foliage, a new bulb will form. So on that bulb, we'll end up with two for one. Now when we plant them in the pot, it's not advisable to put them right on the edge of the pot with the, with the flower buds facing the wall of the pot because what will happen eventually is a bulb will form and if you've got it too close to the edge of the pot it's going to compress that bulb and flatten it out. So what I suggest you do is in a pot this size we would put about seven bulbs. Start with the middle one, place it half of its depth and then we form a pattern. Always keeping the the buds facing inwards towards the center of the pot because that's where the active growth will, will develop. Let's go around the pot. Set the bulbs. So that's all done. Now what I do is I just put a bit more potting mix on top so we've got a bit of a crown. Now eventually what will happen that will all naturally drop down 
and uh, and be uh, uh, just below the level of the pot as the uh, as the plant develops. So in a, in a few weeks, these will flower and develop into um, de develop foliage when the flower starts to die off. But we the flower lasts for up to three weeks. Now they need to be grown in a 70% shade position. Uh, they do well in, in uh, something like a fernery, uh, which um, is an ideal situation for them. Um, some people uh, put a bit of sphagnum moss on top, but that's, uh, that's not necessary.